What's up, everybody? Howdy, howdy, howdy. We wanted to sit down and kind of talk about something that I think most of us have experienced out here. We were talking to another driver a week or so ago, and we started talking about this, but... A fairly new driver. Yeah, he's, yeah, they are him and to his To expediting. Yes. He's, he's got trucking experience. He's new to expediting, but we were talking to him and kind of kind of helping them along the way and you know sharing our experience so yeah and he was just kind of sharing an experience that they had at one of their dr deliveries not that long ago and basically what we want to talk about is how not to let one bad experience dictate how you run your whole business right i think that this is something we've all dealt <laughs> with out here if anything goes wrong with something either at a shipper or receiver no matter what i'm sure we've all had those experiences where we're like we're never coming here again yeah. or we're never doing yeah. that again um, we're never going to go to that place again right we've done it we've done it we've all done it yeah <laughs> we actually have places we won't go back to again, but we try not to let the one single experience make us not go back there. It, it's going to take multiple times and multiple, multiple, multiple bad experiences for us to really just say, I'm not going back to that place again. Yes, exactly. You know, um, letting the one, just the one, you know, um, you really can't dictate, you know, your whole business off of that. Turning down good loads because it's going to that one place you went to one time, you're leaving money on the table when you do that. And mm. believe me, we have bad experiences at places. And All we're, the time. when the camera's not running, we're uh, cussing <laughs> and we're back in the sleeper. Oh my gosh. Those those people are a-holes. I'm never coming back there. How do they stay in business because the way they treat drivers and Yeah, I mean just last week we had an experience at a place that we we go to a lot and we had a bad experience that day yeah. and you know we just we, we I were think frustrated. we always have bad experiences there. We yeah, but It's pretty frustrating because it's different all the it's time. It's different all the time and and we were frustrated that day. But we're not going to say we'll never go there again because there's there's so many factors that, that you've got to think about. You know, maybe the person, if, if, say, somebody was rude to you, maybe they're having a bad day. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. A lot of people are stressed out about things. Yeah, things are yeah. different, you know, than they were just a month or so ago. And a lot of different, you know, people... They have bad days, you know, that's not an excuse for everything. But like Jason said, we don't say, oh, we're never going to go there or never do this for this agent again, unless we've had multiple bad experiences right. over a period of time. Over a period of time. Now, that's and not to say. Now, there's some places that we have bad experiences every single time, but we keep going back because they ship good freight. Yeah. That pays good, it you pays know. It pays good. Yeah, there's. So, there's... you know, when it pays good and it's long miles that we want to do, sometimes you have to bite the bullet. At least you're going going into the place knowing that it's going to be a bad experience yeah. and, and you're, prepared. you're prepared for it, you know, <laughs> but this team, they, they had had a bad experience at like an air force base or something. And he said he would never go to any air force base in the whole country yeah, again. I'm like, a load like that again. You and can't like, say no to yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're all going to have those bad places where we don't want to go. I believe me, we're <laughs> the way truck drivers are treated these days is just absolutely absurd. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you just have to make that call to be able to say, let's do it. It's for the better of my business. It's going to put me in a better area. It's getting me out of this bad area. It's paying really good or you know it's mm -hmm. delivering to a place where i know i'll get another load at you know you have to always look at every single factor and not just let your emotional one experience dictate how you're going to accept loads right. especially if you're driving for a fleet owner too because you're now you're leaving money on the table not only for you but but for the fleet owner for the as well. fleet owner yeah. and you know, you always have to look at every single factor of it. And sometimes I'm telling you, you're going to have to go to a place that you just don't want to go to. At least you're prepared for it. Right. You know, right. <laughs> and, and, you know, like I said, I know a lot of us that have been out here for a while of experiences that know what we're talking about. I guess this is more for the newer folks that are coming out here or thinking about coming out here. Or people who ain't in trucking. That yeah. It's, it's interested you're, in how it works. You're going to have nothing goes perfect.
perfectly smooth all of the time. Right. It's great when it does, but those few little hiccups that you have along the way, like Jason said, you, you just can't let that get to you and and put leave money on the table because you're running a business. This right. is a business, you right. know? And, and if we all did that, then we would be just losing out on so much money. And, and yeah. that's it, not a way to run the business. Yeah, it's not how you run a business, you know? Sometimes you bite the bullet yeah. for the better of the business. Yeah, you know? that doesn't mean that it's going to make you happy because like I said, we've, <laughs> I know there's multiple times. Just last week, like I said, we've been to this place multiple times. This particular day, it was extremely stressful time I when mean, we were there and we were frustrated. For the most part, people really don't care about the time they waste of truckers. They don't think about it. They don't no, think they about don't it. Think it's about... Not, maybe it's not the wrong words. They don't care, but you know, they're just not thinking about it. They mm -hmm. they got their own job they're trying to do that day and maybe they're behind on stuff or whatever doing, but it always falls down on the truckers mm -hmm. that, you know, we sit and wait and have to get things corrected and that's the job. Mm -hmm. We're out here to make money and enjoy life. Whatever the reason they're they're holding you up or treating you bad or maybe you we just think they're treating us bad, you know? Cuz everybody's I mean, perception is different of how things right, are. Too, right, right. You know? I have to sometimes sit back and think, well, is it just me being a grumpy butt? <laughs> Cuz believe me, he can be a grumpy butt. <laughs> is it just me, you know? But but then there's places, you know, other drivers have those you know, you hear the same experience from other drivers mm -hmm. too. So, but I, I always try to think, well, am I going about it wrong? Can I look at it this different? What can I do next time I go to this place to make the job easier and faster? Mm -hmm. What can I do? Mm -hmm. You know, because I mean, I don't want to have to turn down loads because I don't like the place, you know? Right. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, th like just said, there's only a handful of places that we want. We just say we're not going there, there again. Are. There. Are. Now, uh, but again, even now with those places, if the if the money is right, we may say, okay, well, let's give it another shot. If you know, like, there's one place out in I think it's Maryland, Jersey, somewhere over there. They block and brace on the wood floor, mm -hmm. so they take pieces of wood and put it around the pallets, and then they nail into the floor. Now, I understand for certain hazmats it's required and stuff, but they do this for every single... For anything. Anything. Electronics, electronics parts, uh, parts you know, aircraft furniture, parts. Furniture, whatever furniture, it is. Furniture, whatever, yeah. yeah. And they put nails in the floor, and I'm like, yeah, no, you're not doing that. You but know? that's their policy at that particular location. So, it's... If that's their policy, that's a place I will never go so, back yeah, to we, again. But... If they have a load from there going all the way to San Diego or California, the type of run we want to do, uh, chances we'll are I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm we'll going to bite the bullet. The bullet. I will. So. I'm going to be like, <laughs> I don't want to do it. I'm going to send her inside <laughs> because, you know, I'm going to grump at them for nailing in the floor. Oh, you're using too many nails. Do you have to use that many nails? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because I do find like when I go into these places and, I, you know, I'm just a happy person anyway. And there's very few if, places. If I, her off. Yeah, if I go in and they're seeming like they got an attitude, I'm just very nice to them. You yeah. know, I just you, try, have, I, you have let some I get have to let you some too. get to me. I don't yeah. show it when I'm in there. Like yeah. I'll come back out and be like, rah, 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 you yeah. know. Yeah. But I try to be very nice and calm in the places, just because maybe they're having a bad day. You don't know what what they're dealing with in their lives. Right. You know, and right. of course. And same thing goes for agents or dispatchers. Yeah, you know, absolutely. I mean, you really have to go about this whole truck, all of truck, I would say any business really, mm -hmm. you know, um, any business that you really have to be open-minded to be the most successful. Now, sure, you could probably skate by with, you know, our grumpy butt attitudes, <laughs> but do we want to just skate by or do we want to be the absolute most profitable that we can? Right. Yeah. Attitude is going to be a big part of that. Absolutely. You know? It yeah. really will play a big part in your decision making, you know, and how, how you operate. So, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, yeah. we just kind of wanted to touch on that a little bit. Like I said, yep. just think about these things. It's something to think about. 
you know, whether you're already out here, you're new out here, you're thinking about coming out here, nothing's always perfect. Be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. That you're going to have some frustrating times, but don't let the frustration dictate how you're going to run your business. Right. Or how you drive too. You know, a lot of these drivers out here will cut you off and you know, it's like, what do you do? Blow your horn at them? Now you just look like a fool blowing your horn, you know? Yeah. It's like you accomplish nothing by blowing your horn except for making a loud noise and right. probably scaring a lot of people around you. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but be open-minded, try it and, and believe me, is something I work on all the time. It's not like I'm just expert, open-mindedness <laughs> business person. Like I said, we st we we get frustrated out here all the time. We do. It's we not, do. And just because we've been out here for eight years doesn't mean we don't have frustrations that we have to deal with. Keep that all open the mind. Time. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, That's all I got. That's all you got. That's, That's all, all I got. got. Cool. All right. Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. And tell our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. Hey, y'all weren't any help. Hey, you no help. He's like, I ain't even waking up for this video, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me put my hat on real quick. Only if you want to hide your bald spot. I want to hide my... my... Gotta, gotta hide my receding hairline a little. <laughs> Hide my afro. I got my hair I growing. I have my gray hairs. Hide your grays. <laughs> I'm hiding my bald spot. She's hiding her grays.